Previously on Love and Slim. On the last episode, I surprised Slim with a date night. Do you have any idea based on where we're at right now? No. He had no idea where I was taking him, but I knew it would be something he would love. It's going to be a boat on the lake. Watching a movie. Watching a movie. Whoa. Yeah, we went to a boat cinema. We also linked with our friends, the Jacksons, and had a really great time. So if you haven't seen that vlog, make sure you go back and check it out. On this episode, we have some bad news about our puppies. Here's all the details. Guy, he's real cool. The, the, the dogs yeah. definitely seem great. Yeah. Great guy, great owner, great dogs. I like this guy. I like I like his breed. Y'all seen that video? Uh, we were thinking about Doberman pictures. Mm -hmm. We were thinking about Neapolitan masses. Well, I was. She wasn't. Yeah. Uh, and then another dog that we were thinking about that I was thinking about that she was thinking about was Great Danes. But yes. let's start with the press Canarios because the press Canarios was the dogs that we said that we told y'all we were getting. So you want to break it all down for me, baby? Yes. For a long time, we've been wanting to get a dog, but trying to find the right dog has been a so, serious process. Because we want sure. to find a dog that fits our temperament, but also fits the cosmetic look on the outside of a dog that we're looking for, too. Yes. So, and my baby thinks the Neapolitan masters are ugly. She said, she said something so funny last night, though. Me and my brother was looking at dogs with jazz. She was like, uh, the deal positive massive look like it needs an inhaler. Yeah, it does. It was actually pretty funny. They're so wrinkly and they look like when they run, like they need an inhaler afterwards. But we did agree on I like one. the wrinkles. Can y'all comment below? If, now that y'all seen the picture jazz put up there, can y'all comment below and let us know? I think that dog looks like royalty. I think it looks like one of those dogs that like, uh, like, you know, are dogs of kings and princes. And like, I think they look like royalty. The wrinkles give them like, Rapport, you know, like yeah. I don't know. I think it gives them like a prestigiousness to them, but that's just mine. Y'all comment below. Let us know what y'all think. Well, I wasn't opposed to the Neapolitan. I just said it looked like it needed an inhaler. But anyway, so um, she called that dog outright ugly. <laughs> <laughs> so what we did agree on was so the longest he's been wanting a great day, right? He's always wanted a great day. We got this lane. This lane bumpy. But what you got to tell him about the deposit? Why? Did oh we... yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay. So we put a deposit down for a Presa Canario when like back yeah. in last november it was a long time ago it was a long time ago so when we put the deposit down there was um a litter that was supposed to be born well come to find out that litter the puppies actually died so we well, couldn't it, okay so we're just gonna get y'all the technicality of what they said the puppies didn't die they said that i've never heard this before i don't know if y'all have ever heard this before but you know people be knowing in the comments baby yeah, they said the at first that she was showing signs the the mother obviously of the puppies was showing signs of being pregnant so from there it's like a human they say here's the eta on when the puppies will be born and then eight weeks from there you get your puppy eight to eleven weeks from there you get your puppy we we're supposed to get our puppy technically in our hand like june july so it was supposed to be born in like march Yes. Yeah, and then we were going to get the puppy right before the wedding. Yes, we were supposed to get the puppy like a week right. before the wedding. Yep, and we were going to pick it up on the way, head it back home. Yep. Uh, we were going to pick the dog up after 100%. the wedding. That's exactly what was supposed to happen. But then next, you know, they said that the dog went into like labor. That's the word I was looking for. It was like had a stomach like it was pregnant and everything. But then they said that the female dog absorbed the litter. That was the exact... Yeah. Terminology that was used absorb the litter. So I'm like, damn, what is, was she ate the dogs? You know, but I guess like that's not what happened. It was like I guess she was just pregnant, but it was like a false pregnancy or something like that. I don't know. Some dog however, stuff. Yeah, but it happened dog. twice though. So we really wanted the press canario, and we wanted like the, the, the these Louise one. But yeah, that's what happened. So that didn't work. So then we ended up waiting again for another litter, and it and the other litter was supposed to be born like a week ago. And we were hoping to give y'all a video like, hey, our puppy's born, here's our right. puppy. 
But then we found out it happened again. So I don't know. We like, man, run that deposit back, man. Yeah. Long story short, you know, we're just gonna go with another uh, yeah. another dog. Yeah, and we, we look at like a sign. Yeah, we figured we would look at a different breed, which is the Great Day. I love the Doberman look. I love the ears. I love the stance. I love everything about a Doberman, but they're just very, very hyper, and they don't fit our life, our, our lifestyle. Either. So we were like, okay, well, how can we get the lifestyle, you know, dog that we want with the same look? Great Danes, he loves big dogs. So we said we were gonna go with um, a Great Dane. Yeah, she loves the Doberman look. I like the big dog look. And the thing that I'm focused on more than anything is temperament. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Jazz said, what dog fits our lifestyle? Because we can't get a dog. Like, we can't get a dog that's made for one thing and then expect it to just be cool in our world. Like, it's not as boring and genetic as they made up like that. Like a Doberman. Yeah. We aren't like that active as Dobermans. Truly, truth be told, we're actually really boring. Like, when we're not filming, me and Jazz, we like just chilling and marinating and spending time with one another. Yeah. You know, we don't really be out doing hikes and crazy stuff like that. We do intend on doing it eventually, you know, but not like something that's like, it's not just like us every day to get up and just go on to like some crazy uh, adventure of going to Mount Everest or, you know, and bringing our dog Tulu with us and say, hey, you want to go for a hike up the mountain? Like, we're not, we're just yeah, not Yeah, we're just be chilling in the house. Yeah. So, we need a dog that fits our lifestyle. So, we are headed to look at some Great Danes. I'm super excited, actually, because yeah. I don't know what it was, but last night it was like a switch where I was like, okay, let's look at Great Danes. Yeah. Which, yeah. And you remember what happened to Jazz last time when she was touching the kind of course and she didn't about broke out in the house. Yeah, because y'all know I am allergic to dogs. So we're trying to figure that out too. And I actually forgot to take some allergy medicine. We can stop and get some. Yeah, we might need to. Yeah, just um, take it ahead of time, beat, beat the curve. Yeah. I'm going to look into getting like allergy shots so we can have a dog and all that. So yeah, we're about to head there now and it should be pretty dope. I'm excited. Those dogs get super big. They can get up to yeah. 200 pounds. Yeah. Just to give you an idea, 200 pounds, and when they lift themselves up, they could be up to seven feet. So that is a very big dog. Big slim brain dog. Yes, but I mean, it's cool. We have the space for it. It's going to eat a lot of food, but it's okay. We, we're we good there. Oh, so it'll be cool. You see, we in the Escalade. Yeah. Damn sure ain't in the Lambo. <laughs> That's for sure. Because, I mean, I don't think we'll get the dog today or anything, but just i don't know just on a wild chance or something we were like let's just go ahead and take the escalate just in case just in case we want a european great day so if y'all know anything about like the great days and the european great days like i want the european great days to just look way more menacing right like a european doberman so if you know anybody like if we don't we're probably more likely not gonna get a dog today but like yeah. jazz said if we do we got this way but if y'all know anybody or any other breeders that are like european great days with the right temperaments ain't making just some crazy mutt type dogs and you know they got a stable psyche on them and all black or blue all black or blue a shooter chance is like you know a possibility is the brown one with the black muscle I mean, i'm not opposed to it they are I, nice I, yeah i don't that's not really my thing either i like the black ones that was a little gnat in the car oh just see. those things everywhere in here we left like a fruit drink in there they just made a whole nest in here yeah, if you know anybody that, that uh, breeds European Dobermans or anybody that got like, some top of the loop press canarios, man, DM them to us, email them to us, put them in the comments below. Mm -hmm. Let us know for sure. And they don't have to be in California, they can be anywhere. Because like, y'all know we quick to hop in a car and travel. So. Or hop on a plane and go somewhere. Yeah, so just let us know. So we just pulled up to the house, and this is how you know they love their great day. <coughs> oh, Corona. COVID. <laughs> nah. Yeah, they have literally Great Dane statues out yeah. front of their house. Full understanding. So uh, this should be very interesting. Right. All right, so we are headed in. Look at my baby. She's so fine. My baby's so fine. Oh, she's fine. Both of us, man. Look at I'm blessed. Y'all. That's my wife. So we are currently waiting over here right now. It's like um, a cute little area there. Yeah, it's like a little chill. We got the, the, the wood swing and all that. Like, <laughs> gladly put on this bubble right here like this. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, gladly. <laughs> but we're waiting for them to bring down the Great Danes right now. They need a little WD 40 on that move right there, though. But yeah, um, we waiting for them to bring down the big boys and the puppies. I think they're only women puppies that he has. So they're going to be. That's right, huh? Aren't they called bitches? Yeah, they are called. Okay. He went to go grab the. Went to go grab the.
Yeah. We got two. That's where I get to. That's where I get to. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> got two coming, you know what I'm saying, to, to parlay with me and my wife. <laughs> no, just let me stop. I think that might be the only context where I can say that. It'd be kind of funny to entertain. For sure. <laughs> In no other world. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, so we just gonna wait for him to come down. Yeah. Real cool dude, though. Yeah, off the rip. Cool. Energy right. Mm -hmm. You know, just seemed like a free spirited, passionate about what you do kind of guy. Yeah. Statues in the front. I asked him about it. He said his friend actually did those statues for him. Yeah. He said he went crazy ever since. I thought that was a good touch because right away, what it does let you know is that this breeder is serious about his craft. If you mm -hmm. pull up somebody's crib and they got two great days, it's like a thing. They're pretty passionate about what they do. For sure. Got a little elevator right there, and we got the puppies right there, too. You see them? Oh, him? my goodness. I'm messing around with a girl, though, messing with Jazz. Only be one <laughs> in our house. One, 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 one head <laughs> to the house. What do they call it? King bitch? What, they, what is it? Right. HBIC. HBIC, there you go. You got the puppies right there. Those some big ass puppies. They are. How many weeks are these puppies? In uh, 12 weeks, not even three months. Damn. Yeah. These are the two left. This morning I sent one over to uh, Illinois, um, uh, Cleveland, and uh, yesterday one to Reno, and they going all over. Oh, okay. Hey, guys. Nice Girls. Hey. Different family. Mm, come on. Hi. Hi. Beautiful dogs. Thank you. And these are Europeans? Yes. 100% European father, huh? Yeah. Dad, and so is the mom European too? Yeah. Oh, we wow. The dad from, from Poland. From Poland? Yeah. And the mama, and the mama is from... Uh, hey, look at the paws on them. They're huge. They are. Hi, honey. <laughs> hey. So, wow. So you have the dad and the mom, or do yeah. you have just the dad? No, I got both. You got both. Wow. Yeah. I got them all. I got well, that them. says a lot, you know? Cause most times most breeders like have one from the dad. They have the yeah. dad. Another one has like a mom. No. You're serious business. Yeah, you guys can go check it out later if you guys want to. Yeah, we'd love to. Yeah, that is a, that's crazy. If that's a girl, that's crazy. Yeah. I'll see how the boys look. Yeah, that's crazy. Come in. Come here. Hi. 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 Oh, these are beautiful dogs. Hi. You know, you, you just can never tell on pictures versus in person. Yeah. Dogs are beautiful, man. Thank you. Yeah, they are. They, they're gorgeous, man. Just, especially her. I mean, I mean, we were trying to keep her, but, you know, I got so many. Yeah. yeah. It's like every breeder gets attached to every every batch they yeah. uh, breed. <laughs> Look at that. The, and the structure of the head. The, I like the blocky head. The big paws. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's beautiful dogs. So what you think, What's baby? Up? So they're both, we already said they're both uh, female, which I wanted a male, but... Um, Show them your arm, because I think that's on my baby's brain a little bit, too. Yeah, so y'all know I'm allergic to dogs, so... Um, so far, it hasn't been bad. Yeah, a little bump. Show them that yeah, one. Yeah, I got a little, a little bump right here, which usually... You see it's a little red, though. It's a little red, but I think it's pretty good. Like I said, I'm a... Um, I'm gonna go to the doctor and get um, some allergy shots to have a dog because you know it's not like I'm like dying, but I do break out a little bit with dogs. I'm gonna go get allergy right there, shots. Popping a squat. You ready for that, baby? Picking up that hot steaming shit. That's a that's a steamy one too. Look at them. Oh wow. wow. Yeah, that's a big boy right there. They are huge. Yeah. They <laughs> Easy. Don't, don't don't worry. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> there are very, wow. Maybe I might need this. <laughs> hey, hey. That, that boy is huge. Check that big head. Yeah, that head is huge. Yeah, he definitely got that European head. Look at him. You look like you could just hop on him and ride him. <laughs> they are so, so nice. It's like overwhelming. <laughs> Yeah. Well, she definitely either one is gonna be her size. Right. Yeah. So they're them little bitty girls right there are gonna be this big. Yeah. What's up, man? Mm? What's up, dude? Mm? Hi. How you feeling, man? Hey, he, he just loves to be fed. Yeah, he's he a man. I have no idea what you get into it. I mean, he's he is. 
She wants you to ride her. Yeah, she's already. Yeah. They are so big puppies that they're gonna be that big. Yeah. How old is he? He is uh, almost seven. Wow. wow. He's a good looking old man, right, boy? That's crazy how they go from that small to that big, though. Yeah. Anyway. I'll play around and get back to you. All right, G Love. So we are finally in the car and we have looked at the dogs. So I'm gonna get my, my opinion on them. Um, they're huge, okay? <laughs> Let's just start there. They are so big, which I mean, I knew that in the beginning anyway, because they're great Danes. Um, but overall, they're really sweet dogs. They're really nice. They're, um, once we crop the ears up, they'll be really, really good looking dogs. They're, they're very huge. They slob a lot. Slob on the nap. Like oh, on yeah. the cup. What'd you think? I think if you like it, I love it. That's what I think. I'll tell y'all, I know Jazz. What? That that dog, not only are they astronomically big, but the, the draw, you know my baby OCD was kicking in. Um, Don't let him lie, y'all. Yeah, this dog's outside for a little bit, so he had a little, little bacteria growth on him. Uh, you know, yeah. just, just doing dog stuff, you know, but y'all know how jazz is now. Y'all know enough. Y'all might not no, know as much I, as me, but y'all know enough. <laughs> no, I'm open to having a dog. It's okay. I understand. They're going to slobber. They're going to be they're going to be outside. They're going to be dogs. So. What would you think about how they look? I, I would have loved to see a European versus a regular Doberman. Oh, because regular I think, Great Dane, you mean? I mean, yeah, yeah, a regular uh, Great Dane because I feel like the European looks like a Great Dane. But that's just because I don't know the difference, you know. They you know just what's crazy? I kind of don't know either. I, I, I couldn't tell, like, you know, if you look at pictures that say they're 100% European and then you look at American, I don't know if they dilute the picture or Photoshop the American ones to make them look less European. And then they make the Europeans look super more great things. Because you know it's all about angles and pictures. Right, right. So I, I don't really know either, to be honest with y'all. So yeah. how about y'all drop a comment below and let us know for the real dog people out there that might, you know, be tapped into our channel and just... You know, happen to be more stuff different than what you love to do, like dogs. Yeah. Tell us, was that a European great name? Would you think so? Did you think that was the great standard for European? Um, Let us know. Do you think they were too skinny, too big? Like, Who, me? Yeah, what'd you oh, think? I thought they were big as hell. Yeah, but what about like muscle mass wise? Muscle wise, they didn't have a lot of muscle, like compared to a presser, but right. they were very big as in tall. That's what I'm saying. Like, I like the pressers actually better. And I said this to Jazz yesterday. But like, you know, we already broke down everything that happened with the press. It's like, we just can't keep waiting every litter gets absorbed. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like. At this point, y'all just comment below. Let us know who has a press. Uh, <laughs> I think that says, that wraps up the video right there. <laughs> yeah, y'all just let us know if you know anyone that, that has any presses or any Great Danes, preferably black. Let us know. Um, yeah. Overall, that was a great adventure. Now we are How's headed arm some hours out. I, I broke out a little bit on my arm. Um, I broke out a little bit. I ended up washing my hands while we were back there. So yeah, I really like to do the real cool, genuine like guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's, a, he's a real cool dude. We've been talking about getting a dog for like two years now. We still ain't got no dog. We're gonna yeah, give y'all a dog, G Love. But <laughs> for sure, we're gonna give y'all a freaking dog. Cause y'all ain't gonna get no kids right now. So y'all go y'all gonna get a dog. <laughs> eventually. It is super wobbly in this car. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and go. We got yeah, some shout out to my baby though. Hours, for, you know, us. getting up and filming this content for y'all, and shout out to her for going this long drive because we drove some hours to get here, y'all. So yeah. now we got hours and hours to drive to get back home. So yeah. hope y'all enjoyed the content. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and don't miss nothing else. And make sure y'all tap in with my baby's YouTube channel. Tell them about it. Baby. Yes, make sure you go to my channel, Jazz and Love. Y'all, my dad has his channel up now. Pop the star. Pop the star. He has posted his first, first video. Link in the description. Y'all go and check that out. So make sure you go to my baby channel, Car Got Car Reviews. Well, thank you, baby. You welcome, baby. <laughs> go follow us on Love and Slim on Instagram, all of that. And make sure y'all just yes. most importantly go to my baby's channel. My channel been up for like five years almost. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Jazz and Love channel, It was she was doing skits and comedy and she's now she's telling people on that channel why she doesn't do comedy just gets no more and you know are just mm -hmm. different growth in different ways and y'all have never seen jazz in that light y'all have always seen me under this light i've always been under the transparent light 
Mm-hmm. Jazz doesn't do that. And she's opening up finally. You know what I'm saying? I think that's a really great thing, and I think that's also something that deserves to be rewarded and congratulated on, and giving a round of applause by subscribing, turning on the post notifications over there, and not skipping the ads and watching every video she's been posting thus far. And then stay tuned for all the videos that she got coming for y'all. Thanks, babe. My arm is about to literally fall off my <laughs> damn shoulder, so we're gonna go ahead and go. All right, you love. Wow. Let's see.